Tonight, a local athlete who loves football. But she found out the toughness needed to play the sport is the easy part of the game. Yeah, Eyewitness News reporter Walt Buteau has this week's street story from Pawtucket. Breaking tackles is a big part of football, but one local family found out it might be harder to break stereotypes. Five yards off him. Number 24. Watch the ball, watch the ball here. Playing cornerback for the Darlington Braves. Nothing by you. Back pedals and stays with the Winsocket wide receiver. Yeah. Good job, D, good job. On special teams, the Pawtucket 12-year-old gets down the field unblocked. Middle, 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 go! And is there for the stop. Yeah. Good job, good job! Like when I tackle them, they get mad, but like if they see me with my helmet off, they, they act surprised because I have my hair tucked in. There are other moments that might make any parent shudder a bit. Like a stiff arm from a runner, much bigger than Quinn Miller. Oh God, I hope she doesn't get hit. As fearful as I am of her being hurt, I want her to play the game to her best ability because she loves the game. I like receiving the ball. I like tackling defense, team members, the coaches. Quinn, give some cushion, don't press. Her team members, they love her, they support her. It's when she goes back to school. Even though she's not the first or even the only girl playing tackle football in the state, there are hecklers, name callers, who let her have it in a way that can hurt more than a stiff arm. It breaks my heart. I've raised her to be strong, and she is. There are days when she doesn't want to go to school on Mondays because she's sick of being bullied, sick of being made fun of because she plays a sport that she loves to play. I don't really want to go to school because of that, but I just ignore them through the day and hope they will stop calling me names. The Millers know it is not easy to ignore the bullies in middle school or any age. But number 24 has some mature advice for any other girl. Get smart, play the yardage. Who wants to put on the pads and play what some insist is a game for boys only. Well, I would tell them that it's not true and they shouldn't say that. If they want to play, they should play and not be scared and try their best. I don't think I could ever be more proud, even though I'm scared, that she's gonna get hurt. I am so proud of her for standing up for what she loves and what she wants to do. It makes me want to play more. Hopefully they will stop saying that I'm not good and I shouldn't play. She's not positive she'll ever silence those bullies, but she says they've done nothing to stop her goal of playing high school football in a couple of years. Walt Buteau, Eyewitness News. Now listen to this, before this story even aired, Quinn's dedication caught the eye of a fellow football player who also wears number 24. That's Patriots cornerback Stefan Gilmore. He responded to our tweet previewing this story saying he wanted to meet Quinn and tonight we're hearing from Gilmore. No matter what it is, off, you know, in class or in sports to, you know, do what you love. And never let no one, you know, um, tell you that you can't do nothing, you know. It's, you know, women can play whatever they want to play, so um, that's one thing that I would tell her. Well, the Patriots tell us they're hoping to arrange a meetup with Gilmore and Quinn as soon as this weekend. You'll hear more tonight at 11.